Hey Randy here for Gold Midwest Fishing. If you seriously want to use the toilet that comes with your camper RV, you might want to consider upgrading it. Now after doing some extensive research, I found the toilet that you're going to want. It's right here. This here is the Dometic Model 320 Porcelain Toilet. Now let's look at some of its features. First of all, you got at-home comfort. It's an enameled, elongated seat, residential height, with a lust, lustrous, high-fired, well, whatever, all that stuff. It's a nice one. You got better hygiene. With a deep, elongated bowl, improves ergonomic comfort, hygiene, compared to shallow bowls. You got a clean design, integrated full circumference rim, completely rinses bowl. So it's got an actual rim with water coming out from underneath the rim all the way around. And you got a dual function pedal, so you can press it partially to add water, fully to flush. Now, if you want a toilet that most closely represents the toilet that you find in your home, this is going to be the one. So let's see what we got installed right now. So the toilet that's in here isn't actually that bad. I think it's a Dometic 310. It's much nicer than the toilet I had in my last uh, Coleman camper. That was a Thetford, and it was like the size of a little child could use it. But this one, um, it would work, but it's actually kind of broken. It's got some leaks and stuff, so I'm going to just replace it anyway. So the design is almost uh, identical looking from the outside, except it's got a round bowl where the other one's going to have a more elongated bowl. And uh, you can see there's no rim on it. So the only water it comes out, let's see if I can flush it. It's got antifreeze right now. It just comes out from the one spout where the new toilet will come from all the way around the whole rim. And you see the water is just leaking out. There's a crack in that valve there and stuff. And who knows who's used it. So I'll get a new one in there. Couple things you might want to consider being that this is going to be a larger toilet and camper bathrooms are fairly small. Make sure you have enough room in your bathroom itself to put this toilet. They give you the measurements. Uh, make sure you got, it's like 11 inches from the wall, something like that. Look up those specs. And then the second thing is the plumbing. Since this is basically the same toilet, the plumbing is pretty much a plug and play. I think I just unscrew one thing and plug it in and it should work. We just got to unbolt it from the floor, pull it out, throw the new one in. I haven't even opened the new box yet. so. I'm excited to see what it looks like. So let's just take a quick look behind here. You can see there's the plumbing. I should just have to unscrew this one here. And then you got some bolts on either side right under there. Just pull those off and I think this whole thing should pop out. All right, that worked well. I just unscrewed that by hand actually. And then you see down there, one there, and one there. It's just a 7 16 inch nut on there. It just comes right off. All right, that should all be, that's uh, holding it down. All right, let's see what happens. Oh yeah, that comes off, no problem. All right, get rid of this thing. All right, the first thing I noticed is it definitely is nice elongated and it's got a actual wood lid on it and see this actually has a rim and all the water shoots from little spouts all the way around the rim here to flush it but other than that the rest of it looks about the same it's much heavier than the other one uh, this is all porcelain with enamel on it this here is actually still plastic from here down but from here up all porcelain and wood so if weight is a consideration for you, this is going to add a few pounds, although, you know, it's minimal, but if you're right at the edge of being overweight, this could put you over. Looking on the back, it still has the same flush pedal and uh, same place to screw it in, so it really should just be pretty easy to put this one in. Looking underneath, uh, has a new ceiling ring here, and uh, if you look over here, so... This one came off the other one, so I'll get rid of this one. And it has new hardware, so you can just slide these bolts out, put new ones in. So it comes with this little bag of hardware, new caps, new bolts, washers, that kind of stuff. All right, I got the toilet sitting on there now that on, the nut on, just tighten it down nicely, so it 
doesn't wobble. All right, and then just screw that on, and it uh, pretty much fits right in. If you have a different toilet, you may have to redo this plumbing a little to get it to fit there. All right, there it is. Nice new porcelain toilet. Just fits there. You can see I got just enough room behind there. So you gotta make sure it doesn't hit the wall. And put this up. We'll hit the flush. So there's still antifreeze in there, so you should be able to see it. Coming out underneath all the rim there. Should uh, push it halfway, should fill up. that and then to flush it you push it all the way down as you see that was quite a simple job to get an actual toilet you can use in your camper uh, this is one of the more expensive ones uh, it's usually in the 200 somewhere I think I found it for like 179 on Amazon I only had a few left. I don't know if it's still there. If it is, I'll put a link down below where I got mine in case you want to get it for a really good price. Uh, the other thing is I think I just bought this camper and I don't, <laughs> it's used, and I don't think they uh, fully cleaned out the tanks. It kind of stinks back there. Uh, they had these sitting in there. And uh, I gave this tip on another video, but if you use these things, they do not work. If you want your bathroom smelling good, uh, look up the Geo method. Uh, there's several different recipes. I use like a cup of Dawn dishwashing detergent, a cup of bleach, and a few capfuls of Calgon water softener. Mix it in some water, put it down the toilet, and it, it works great. So look up that Geo Method if you want a nice smelling camper bathroom. All right, this is just one of the projects I'm doing on this camper. I'm going camping next week, actually, so I'm trying to get this thing uh, fixed up. Uh, so you can look forward to... I got a propane fridge here. It came with an electric fridge, so I'm in the process of putting in a propane... Uh, propane and electric fridge and i'm going to put in some usb outlets this didn't come with any kind of outlets in it so we're going to do that and uh just got some general cleanups and things to do before we go camping so uh look for those videos coming up soon all right hope this was helpful everyone thanks so much for watching I'll see you next time huh you scared kind of i got you crazy oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like standing that's like being in your burning house Oh, <laughs> <laughs>